Danny, there's a real confidence boost on Saturday, but now we look ahead to the Oval. Yeah, um, some, the, the games come so thick and fast at times, and I, I, I was asked on Saturday about would we have wanted a game on the Tuesday, and after, after the previous Saturday, I don't think so. We needed a week to sort of regroup and whatnot, but when you, when you have a performance like we did on Saturday, then yeah, you do want, you do want a game nice and quick. Um, it's not an easy one, but we go there. The, the lads should be full of confidence. As I, as I said on Saturday, we, we've won three out of the last four home games, and although it was a disappointing performance in the previous week, we've, we've picked ourselves up, and we, it was a very professional performance Saturday. So, no, looking forward to it. And even though, like you said, our home record's been very good recently, it's our away record that perhaps we need to work on a little bit if we want to push up the table a little bit more. Yeah, I think that the start of the season, it was the other way around. We were picking up points away from home, and we weren't getting any at home, and then we flipped around, and it's... <coughs> It's quite a tough one because you want you want a good home record because it's where where all your all your supporters are. Um, but we, everywhere we've been this year, barring the, the the Dagenham game, we've probably we've we've looked like we could get something out of the game. So we we go there with confidence and yeah, we, we want to get points whether it's home or away. So uh, the lads need to be focused on that and the overall good side. But we we know that we can cause teams problems. And in preparation for the game, we brought in Miles from Hartlepool. What was the thinking behind that and how has he fitted into the club? Yeah, I think we, we've been working on trying to get someone into the club who's with a bit more experience, a bit of an older head. Um, we've got a very young squad and bring that kind of, and it's, I don't mean it's patronising to the lads, but that more of a, of a man figure that he's, and I mean that in the sense of football terms, that's played, been there, done it got the t-shirt, got the cuts and bruises to show for it and just to galvanise everyone a little bit and then when you do come up against something where he's not going against you, who's on the pitch and can organise stuff as well, um, we've got a few lads who can do it but not enough and he brings he brings a wealth of experience and he's a top, top lad. And how have the boys got on a training today and have any updates on any players at all? Today was, today was difficult because the weather's been horrendous and the, the pitches that we use are not great anyway. Um, so. It, it limited, limited us to, to some of the stuff that we could do. But um, Miles had his, his first full training session with us. Um, we, Tinks has got a little knock, so we're not sure about him yet. He's going to have to be assessed tomorrow. But other than that, everyone's, everyone's fighting fit. And Yeovil were very good when we hosted them here at the EBB, but now we go back into their own ground. Obviously, it's time to sort of plan a bit of revenge, really. Yeah, I think that they're probably the best side I've seen here. Um, there was... There was, there was a culmination of things in that. I don't think we were particularly good that night. Um, and if you watch the goals back, as, as well taken as they were, there was quite a few individual errors that led to those. So we're not we're not going into it fearful. We're we're, we're obviously being cautious. We know what they're capable of delivering. I think Reese Murphy scored a hat trick on Saturday, so we know that they've got danger uh, in the side. But no, I mean, I, I don't like the word revenge because obviously it kind of it it puts pressure on the. It, the, the bottom line for us is we need to continue the performance that we had Saturday and take that into tomorrow um, and make sure that we're performing at that level and I'm confident in this team that if they perform at that level, it doesn't matter who we play, we'll, we'll cause problems and, and we threaten getting a result. And you mentioned their performance on Saturday during three all with Wrexham with Rhys Murphy obviously scoring a hat-trick, how will that affect them going into the game? I'm not sure to be honest, we, we, we watched the game and I mean Wrexham had a lot of the ball um, but they looked so dangerous on the attack. Um, Yeovil and they've got some great experience in the team, but look at look at look at the fixtures just gone. The, you, the all the weekend's fixtures and we keep saying it over and over and over again. It's such a tough league to call because the, your home bankers, the ones you think they're that, that's a dead cert, and then you look at the results and you think, wow, I didn't see that coming. And I think most teams have got that capability in their locker to do that. So it is a tough, tough league, um, and. I think previous seasons you probably go back through the league and you can look at people's previous fixtures and results etc and it has a knock-on effect. I don't think there's so much the case this year, it's a quite an unusual one, it's quite an unusual. Click here to watch the next video, click here to subscribe.